in this session we are going to see serial reception using Arduino Uno board in a circuit simulator known as Tinkercad right in the previous program what you have seen is you are transmitting a character from Arduino board to the PC or to the serial monitor in this program what you are going to see is you are going to see how to receive a character from the PC through the USB to the Arduino board so you are going to receive a character coming from the PC so in this simulation environment instead of PC you are using the serial monitor which you have shown in the code editor so from the code editor you are going to send a character which means it is almost equivalent to you are sending a character from the serial monitor present in a PC or laptop so using that character you are going to control an LED present in this Arduino so when you are entering a character in the serial monitor what does the Arduino do? Arduino will receive the serial character coming through the serial monitor so it will receive that character then it will check whether that character is a particular uh, character if it is say for example if you are checking for one so it will receive the character it will check whether it is one if it is one your LED will be on or if it is zero your LED will be off so by using a character which you are sending from the laptop through the serial monitor you are going to control this onboard LED which is connected to pin number 13 so that is what you are going to see so again if you want to create uh, a project in Tinkercad, if you are a new user, you need to go through my introduction to Tinkercad video so that you will be able to create a new uh, project. Then you can start doing this experiment. So first you click on code. So the previous code will be displayed here. Here I am going to edit this code. So already I have typed the code in the Arduino ID that I am replacing it here. The setup part remains the same. So in the setup, what you are doing, you are giving serial dot begin 9600. So here you are giving serial dot begin 9600. That means you are initializing serial port with 9600 board rate. So this is one of the configuration step. In addition to that, since you are going to configure the LED or you are going to control the LED you need to write the pin mode statement also that means using this pin mode you are going to configure the led as 13 so here the led as output so here you are going to configure led pin that is pin number 13 as output and again the output should be in capital right so pin mode 13 comma output means you are going to configure pin number 13 as output then in the main loop what you have done is you are using a function known as serial dot available so this serial dot available will check whether any data is coming in the serial port of Arduino so if any data is coming in the serial port of Arduino then Arduino should read the data so for reading the data it is using a function known as serial dot read so using serial dot read it can read the character which is coming through the to the Arduino and that character will be stored in a character variable known as well so whatever received character is there that will be stored here then in this function you are checking whether val that is a received character is equal to equal to one if it is equal to one then you need to make the led on so you need to use digital write pin number 13 comma high so digital write pin number 13 comma high means you are switching on the led present in Arduino. right similarly if the value is equal to zero you need to make the pin number 13 comma low that means you are making the led off right again high and low should be capital so you are switching off the led present in on Arduino. so on board Arduino led which is connected in pin number 13 it is shown with this letter L that will be on when the received character is 1 it will be off when the received character is 0 so now you can start the simulation so when you are starting the simulation 
you will not be able to see the serial monitor it will be something like this so you can click on the serial monitor so you can see this is a serial monitor so whatever character is received in the Arduino will be displayed here whatever it is transmitted will not be shown here right so so uh, that is what you are going to do so first you are going to send a character one so this serial monitor means this is a serial monitor which is equivalent to the serial monitor which is present in your laptop so from the laptop i am sending one and i am pressing send so what will happen you can see that the led is on that means the ordinary will receive that one that character it will check whether it is equal to one if it is equal to one you have written to make this led on similarly you can send a zero you type zero here then click on send so you can see that led is off so this serial monitor is similar to the serial monitor which you can see in the Arduino IDE installed in your laptop since I am not having the hardware I am using the Tinkercad serial monitor so this is how you are controlling an LED using serial monitor character or serial character so if you are sending one LED will be on if you are sending zero LED will be off so what uh, what is happening here is when I am sending one from the serial monitor it is actually simulating the data which is coming from the laptop through this USB so the Arduino will receive that character it will check whether it is one if it is one the onboard LED will be on if it is zero the onboard LED will be off this is how you can control an LED using the character sent through the serial port thank you